Okay, let's see. That worked. Put that. All right. Okay. All right. We recording? We good? Mm. What's going down, Cigarhead crew? All right, y'all. So tonight is part three of the Dog Walker Short Smoke Series. And tonight we're going to be taking a look at a cigar from a company that's been putting out cigars since 1912 which that is a very long time. Of course, y'all know I wasn't here yet, but we're gonna take a good look at Arturo Fuente cigars. So y'all sit back, relax, grab your favorite drink and your favorite cigar, and we about to get lit. Y'all hang on. What's going down, Cigar Head crew? All right, y'all. So we're not finna waste no time. We're gonna get right into this cigar review. Cause I like this brand. And you know what? It's crazy because Dominican tobacco for me is a is a bit of a hit and miss. But every time I smoke one of these cigars, it it does me right. It really does me right. So we're gonna be smoking. The Arturo Fuente Hemingway Short Story. All right, Cigar Head Crew, now let's take a good look at this cigar. First off, I'm going to tell you about the band. The band, to me, is very nice looking band. It's a very nice looking band. I love the way the Arturo Fuente bands look. It's just so traditional. That's such a traditional feel to the cigar for me. This cigar reminds me of one of those really old school cigars. Just the look of it. Just look at it. Has a little baby foot on the cigar, slouchy, slouchy looking cap on it. It's, it's, it's pretty veiny, slightly toothy, nicely firm pack though, nicely firm pack. It just, it, it just, it, this cigar just gives me such an old school feel. It just looks like a very old school cigar. Like one of those cigars that were here b way before I was born. That's exactly just what it gives me the feel of. So, all right, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the cigar. So y'all hang on. All right, Cigar Hair Crew, now this is, this is the Arturo Fuente Hemingway Short Story. Now, this cigar is made at the Fuente factory. It has a Cameroon wrapper with a Dominican Republic binder and filler. And the size of this bad boy is a four by 48 ring gauge. And also, the price on this bad boy is super inexpensive. This cigar costs from a range from three to five dollars. I got this at a brick and mortar shop and it was it was, I think this cigar was $4. It was $4. So right in between $3 and $4. I've seen some brick and mortar shops that have it for like $3. So that's, you know, a win-win, honestly. So I'm getting to the smell of it. Hmm, just tobacco. The baby foot smells a little sweet, though. All right, that's all I'm getting. All right, we about to cut this bad boy up and we about to get lit. Y'all hang on. Great draw on this cigar. Cold draw notes. I'm pulling a ton of nuttiness and hay. Mm-hmm. Ton of nuttiness and hay. That's what I'm getting. And that's all I'm getting, y'all. So, all right, we about to get lit. Y'all hang on.
All right, Cigarette Crew, now immediately from Light Up, I'm getting a ton of like a like a roasted peanut type of note. Also, I'm getting a lot of hay, man. But it's smooth. No black pepper on the retro hill. Just a smooth cedar spice. That's all I'm getting. Mm. Wait a minute. Okay. Got some chocolate on the finish there. Not it's not too strong though. It's like a little bit of a faint a, a faint chocolate, like a little quick floor made with a jab with chocolate. Yeah, that's a new one there. Hmm. But all right. Impressive, impressive little start. All right, we're gonna get into it. Get to the first third, and if I have anything else, I'll be back. Y'all hang on. Hmm. All right, Cigar Hair Crew, we're back with the Arturo Fuente Hemingway short story. Not the best looking burn on this bad boy. Not the best looking burn, but it doesn't take away from the flavors. This cigar, for sure, is mild to medium body in, in flavor and in strength. It's nothing that just pops off at your palate, but it is something that you can smoke. That you, if Just say if you don't want to smoke something heavy, you can for sure pick this cigar up and enjoy it. It gives you like a rich chocolate, rich milk chocolate note on your palate. The hay is pretty much gone, but it just gets cedar spice, chocolate. I'm getting a little bit of cinnamon, and I'm also getting some breadiness. And that is very delicious. I actually like that. Really do like that. Hmm. I like that. So, all right, y'all. I'm going to keep smoking this bad boy on down. We're almost to the band here, so I'm going to remove that in a minute. So if I have anything else, I'll be back. Y'all hang on. All right, Cigar Hair Crew, we're back with the Arturo Fuente Hemingway short story. As you can see, I've asked this whole thing. It's probably going to fall. It's going to fall at one point. It's going to fall. I know it is. But check that out. Not, 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 a, not a bad burn on here. But flavors are pretty much still be the same. If you are a fan of like a smooth bready chocolatey cinnamony type of cigar it's not super bold but it's on a, it's on the i say the flavors now in the final third have gotten to a i say like a low side of medium plus low side like extremely low but very good flavors on this cigar this cigar for me would be a great morning cigar especially if i don't feel like smoking anything hard this would be a good cigar to go with a cup of coffee. Um, <clears throat> but this would be a great break time cigar as well. Especially for those who, you know, who are really short on time, got you on your break, got a 30 minute break. Great cigar. This cigar lasted for maybe about, just about a 20 to 25 minute smoke. Not bad at all. And the, inflav and the flavors on this bad boy have been enjoyable. So with that being said, guys, if you guys haven't tried this cigar, it's very, very affordable. Very affordable, good flavors, not a bad cigar at all. So if you if you like the flavor notes that I've described in this cigar, give it a shot, man. This has been the Arturo Fuente Hemingway Short Story. Y'all do me a favor, give this video a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button so you know when the next video drops, and I will see y'all in the next review. All right, y'all remember, stay lit, stay humble, and stay smoky. All right, y'all, I'm out. Peace.